This is the free motion quilting tutorial for double sharp stippling. This design is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. Learn more about this design at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to double sharp stippling. To quilt this design you're going to start with a very large scale sharp stippling. And to quilt this design, all you do is simply wiggle around, come to a point, wiggle in another direction, curve it around. Basically think of regular stippling, those curvy shapes, only with sharp points, and really make this very open. You don't want it to be tight and dense. I'm leaving about an inch between all my quilting lines, uh, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch, because this isn't a very big square. You want a lot of space because the second half of the design fills in all that space. All you do is simply travel back and forth over that baseline. This is a foundational design, so that was kind of your foundation. And you're going to just travel back and forth over the top, bisecting it with these wiggly kind of flame lines. Creates a doubled effect, so you've got basically sharp stippling stitched over sharp stippling. It's really, really easy. If you can see, all you had to do was simply start with that base, and then once it's set, all you have to really think about is just stitching back and forth. It's not difficult at all. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that you're going to have some weird areas, so just try and get in there and get back out again. Fill up the area with a wiggly flame shape. If you have to, expand it, make it wider, make it into a spiral. Just fill in that area the best way you can and then wiggle back around. Of course, don't really worry about overlapping your lines because obviously we're overlapping that main line and it's perfectly fine if you overlap some of your little lines as well. It ends up looking a little funky. Uh, it's kind of a flat design. It's going to recede into the background of your quilt. But if you stitch this on a large scale, so if you started with a super wide sharp stippling, like maybe four inches between the lines of quilting, and then you went over it with a medium scale sharp stippling on top, so maybe a half an inch between those lines of quilting, that would be about the perfect level of texture for a bed quilt. It's going to be very soft, very comfortable, and very quick to stitch. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish double sharp stippling. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.